Hi everyone, Drini here, and welcome to my channel. So we're going to take a look at Blocktopia today. It's another metaverse play. Um, I think this one is on the Polygon blockchain. We're going to take a look at price action. And also, I do want to show you something about Blocktopia that you do have to pay attention to. Because it's very important to not be easily impressed by projects when they come out with quote-unquote actual in-game footage. So Blocktopia is a perfect example of this, but you can also apply this across most of the projects that you see. So let's dive into the charts just to see what I'm talking about. So what I have here is I have the chart of Blocktopia or the block token from a weekly time frame. And as you can see right here, it is very, very similar to all of the other gaming cryptos that we cover so far. The price action is very much the same, where after you had a high around October or roughly around November, you suddenly had a cascade down as this apparently was already the start of the bear market. Compared to the others, as you can see for Blocktopia, it's very, very similar structure where right now we appear to be forming a five wave Elliott wave structure where this is your wave one right here. This is your wave two. Right now we are hopefully done with our wave three right here. We are in the midst of a sideways wave four, but we still have a destination of wave five somewhere down there. How do we know where could we potentially go from here? So similar to what we've been doing across other gaming crypto projects, we overlay a reverse Fibonacci where this particular impulse move right here, the end of this impulse move is as our one and the local high will take this as our zero so that we will be able to establish what Blocktopia has been doing from a price action perspective. And once again, very similar to what we have seen for other gaming cryptos, because we are dealing with a lot of price discovery to the downside, Blocktopia is following a Fibonacci but in reverse, where you have after this particular impulse move, where did we try to break? We broke through the 786 right here to the 618, but we got rejected. We explore this chasm right here. These fat candles are because from the 1 to the 1.272, you have a chasm right here that is being filled up by these candles. Once we have broken through that, we have broken through it in two consecutive weeks where we are broken through the 1.414. And the reason why we are hanging out around here is typically the 1618 extension of a particular price discovery, whether it's upside or downside, tends to be a hangout area before the subsequent continuation. Either we have a reverse trend, which is highly unlikely because of the crypto markets at the moment, also with the global markets being relatively weak and risk off. So the more likelihood here would be, of course, we have a wave down. One of the reasons as well for the 1618 being a significant hangout area is because from the 1618 here of around 2.002 right here to the 2, which is the next level of the Fibonacci, there is a giant chasm that has to be filled up. So from 0.002 to 0.001 is actually a 50 is a 60-ish percent drawdown right here that has to be filled. So this is actually why we are most likely, hopefully, if the crypto markets sort of behave, we are most likely going in a sideways consolidation like this. However, we still have, if we are following Elliott Wave Theory, we still have one wave down for Blocktopia where we can take advantage of that final fifth wave before hopefully the subsequent recovery moving forward. So the key price levels to note, of course, are the 1618 extension right here of 0 0.0027. If we go down, we the next level is around 0 0.001. The next level is the 2.272 of around 0 0.0005. The, the next level apart from that would be the 0 0.0003. The 2.618 would be around 0 0.0002. And hopefully, finally, the worst case scenario, if things go really, really bad right here, then hopefully we can get down to a 3 of around 0 0.00007 right here. So now that we know Blocktopia's price action, I do want to cover what they show here in their website as actual in-game footage. So when you look at the particular elements right here, they look impressive, right? It looks like the game or it looks like Blocktopia is very, very far in terms of development. Based on what you see here, it looks like the assets have been minted quite nicely. They have been designed and already put and we already are dealing with a particular world right here that we can play around with. However, be very, very careful when it comes to evaluating things like this before you get wowed by this. 
I do want to show you something. The Unreal Engine is not just an engine and you have to build things from scratch. So what you can do also in the Unreal Engine 5 is you can purchase in-game assets that are already pre-made by either the developer themselves or it could be something or it could be a third party person who developed these assets and then just sell them in bulk to prospective buyers and game developers. This particular dystopian city environment, for example, is only $70. And if you look at the particular assets in play right here, do they look very familiar? So you have all of this that's currently available. And when you look at the actual assets at the end, you also have buildings that are currently available right here that are pre-made and you can already install in your particular world. There are other multiple assets as well that you have to consider right here. So there are multiple assets that are already pre-made and already available for you to plug and play into your particular system. When you look at what these look like, does it look very similar? <laughs> So this is what I mean by just be very careful when it comes to aping into projects like this because it is readily available to purchase for $69. You can also purchase it and if you go to the Unreal Engine 5, you can start building your own dystopian city right here. However, if you're really into block, um, I do know that some of the land properties are still available. So the land seal that they have, you still have a few land parcels right here that are available. For example, I think this one is 300,000 block, which if I'm not mistaken, is like $1,000. So if you're really into the project, then just take note that there are certain available spaces still that are on sale. So the land sales that they have are, haven't really sold out yet. So I guess whether that's an alarm bell for you or whether that's an opportunity for you, then this is something that you can consider moving forward as a potential metaverse play that hopefully will be successful. As you can see, the first floor right here still has a lot of NFTs for sale. So just like this one is around 1 million block right here. So that's probably around $4,000 to $5,000. So there's still a lot of lands available. And when you do your own research, of course, and you feel that block is an interesting concept for you, then here you go. The, the land sales are still available. Yo, 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 before you go, like this video, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. Thank you very much and have a good day.